this is my review of the Malone kayak trailer. It'll take four kayaks. Right now I have it set up for one. Um, I would recommend these types of uh, uh, the wing type uh, for carrying one or two kayaks. It works real good. If you want to carry the four kayaks, it comes with these uh, these uh, like J hooks. You'd, uh, it comes with a whole set of those. So you mount the kayaks on uh, sideways, on their edges in other words. I bought the, uh, an extra spare tire. I went with uh, the modifications I did to the trailer. The trailer is an excellent trailer but there, it does have some shortcomings which I'll explain. I uh, added uh, some uh, buddy bearings to it so you can grease the uh, hubs up all the time. And here's a couple of the shortcomings. These bars that they have here if you look at carefully you'll see that they're actually bending they don't do very well when you put a kayak in a center I'm using a Hobie kayak uh, the uh, Adventure Island and it weighs uh, when I have it fully loaded it's almost like 150 pounds and as you can see it's bending the bar so what I did on the front bar is I reinforced it I have uh, actually a rebar in the center of it and I don't mind the rear one being low because it's easier for me to slide the kayak on top of it. The other shortcoming was the tail lights. Um, it comes with regular bulb type tail lights and what happens is because there's a lot of vibration on this trailer as you're towing it. Um, I was having issues with the bulbs actually going out and um, and just uh, in the socket itself where it fits is very how would you say cheaply made so what I did is I bought these LED uh, tail lights and it took care of that problem um, I bought the uh, container it's not very big but you can carry some extra gear in it it's a great trailer so I highly recommend it for those who can't car top which was my problem and uh, it works pretty good um, a couple other things I might want to mention is for those who are Hobie guys I bought I bought the uh, Hobie attachments that go on here not worth a damn so don't waste your money in that Hobie thing because they're like three hundred dollars uh, for the uh, carrier these wing ones work a lot better they're cheaper and they're easy to set up and you can remove them the other type that Hobie makes you actually have to like uh, bolt them into place and so it, it kind of pretty much narrows your alternatives of what you can do. Great trailer. I highly recommend this thing for anyone, especially when you're driving a sports car. Uh, I don't have any, can't mount it on top, so I just mounted a hitch to the back of my car like that. And then I, I just tow the trailer with it. For the sake of the video, these are the uh, Hobie. Uh, deals that I was talking about they're uh, I can't remember I, I'm gonna say two to three hundred dollars definitely garbage do not buy these so this is what they look like as you can see to mount them they have these mounting holes so you'd have to actually physically mount this to your trailer it's a permanent mount so that's why I don't like this not very good you're better off with these because these are just held on with with these clamps right here and you can remove it, you can slide it off, whatever way you want to go with it. That's my final input on that. Good luck. And this is basically what it looks like right here.